Hey everyone, this is Theo from Pragablogs.com. In today's video, I'm going to test out the thinnest paper that I have. And that's the Tomoe River paper. And the paper was sent to me by Anna from Gats BCN. This is actually an online store that sells a lot of different types of journals, very customized journals. And today I have with me one of those journals that was sent to me. So let's take a look. By the way, this is not a review. I will put out a proper review for this when I fill up most of the pages. So today is just going to be a very quick impression of the paper that is inside this journal. All right, so this is the Japanese made Tomoe River paper. When I first saw this journal and the paper, I was really surprised by just how thin the paper is. It's really thin and it feels a bit fragile. Tomoe River is said to be the holy grail of paper for fountain pen users. So today I'm going to test out the paper with my fountain pens and various fountain pen inks. And as you can see, because the paper is so thin, it's really soft as well. The first ink that I'm going to use is Golden Brown, made by Noodleless Ink. So let's try this out. The ink flows really well on the paper. I can see that there is no feathering for the ink. And it's really smooth. This paper is really smooth. The lines are very sharp, the colors, they turn out quite well. The paper is able to handle wet ink really well. The ink flow from my pen is very generous. All these parts here, they are not dry yet. So you can see how well the paper can hold up. And you can see the beautiful transition in the colors of the strokes. So we have light to dark. And this area here, it's not dry yet as well. The lines are very sharp. There is no feathering at all. So this is Nulleless Golden Brown. And now let's see how Noodler's Bulletproof Black is going to hold up. This fountain pen that I'm using is the Pelican M200 fountain pen. This is one of my favorite fountain pens. You can get a thicker stroke if you press down a bit hard, but this is not considered a flex pen. It's really quite an enjoyable experience to draw on such smooth paper. And now let's try the Iroshi Zuku ink. This ink is made in Japan as well, made by the company Pilot. This fountain pen that I'm using, this is the Duke Confucius fountain pen. It has a fude nib, so you can see this nib here it's bent and it's really large. So this pen is fantastic at creating um, lines of varying thickness. It can be a bit challenging to use as well. For example, here I accidentally um, drew a line that's too thick. But the paper is able to hold up to the ink quite well. Although I can see some, um, some effects here. Maybe the paper is buckling over there, I'm not too sure. And now let's try a dip pen. So I'm going to use a Kuritake Sumi ink.
the paper is still quite smooth it's really fantastic to draw on because the paper is so smooth even with a very scratchy deep pen like this it's also very smooth although I have to be very careful not to scratch the paper but the overall performance of the paper I think it's really fantastic I also want to use a brush pen to color some of the areas so let's see how well it holds up to the brush pen and now I'm using a rollerball gel pen this pen is very smooth and on this paper it's like gliding on ice And lastly, let's try a ballpoint pen. So I'm running out of space on this page. This ballpoint pen is really smooth as well. This pen that I'm using, by the way, is the Uniball Jet Stream. Let's test out pencil as well. It actually works quite well with pencil. This paper can definitely handle fondant pen inks very well. Let's take a look at the opposite page. So because the paper is so thin, I can see the lines from the opposite page the impression from the opposite page really clearly so i would probably just use this paper on one side rather than on both sides this paper is not designed for drawing but as you can see you can draw on it it's really a paper meant for uh, writing for correspondent purposes and in this sketchbook format in this journal format I would just use it on one side so this is how it looks like when you overlay another page onto this page with the artwork this can be a problem if you have just uh, drawn a lot of pages and you want to do some scanning then I would suggest you put a piece of white paper to uh, block out anything that's here so that you can scan this page properly even though I used a lot of ink here the ink did not bleed through did not go through the page so this is really good this is very specialized writing paper I'm not sure if I prefer drawing on this personally I like paper that is a bit thicker especially for pen and ink drawings so that's all for this review of the Tomoe River paper today. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you have used this paper before for drawing or for writing, let me know your experience. Let me know whether or not you like it. Alright, so that's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.